It's been a long time since I drove this old truck through the streets of Youngstown, Ohio, delivering fresh Schwabel's bread to the customers on my route. That was a special time for me, and a special time for the Schwabel Baking Company. You know, there's a story behind this company, and it reads better than any novel about living the great American dream. You see, this story is true. And it all began in a small kitchen on Center Street in the Hazelton section of Youngstown, Ohio, in the home of Joseph and Dora Schwabel. The year was 1906, and Joseph Schwabel had built quite a reputation in the neighborhood for his delicious home-baked rye bread. Even then, attention to quality, freshness, and taste were the trademarks of Joseph and Dora Schwabel's modest bakery. Late into the night, Joseph would bake his delicious rye bread. And early the next morning, Dora would fill her baskets and set out on a bicycle, selling door to door to neighborhood customers and friends. Before long, business was so good that a storefront was built and new varieties of baked goods were added. By the fourth year, things were going so well that they bought a horse and buggy and hired their first delivery driver. All in all, they built a pretty nice business for themselves and their family. Based on the simple concept of providing great tasting bread, baked to perfection, and delivered fresh each day. But the story was far from over. And no one was really prepared for what the future would bring. In 1928, Joseph Schwabel died from a sudden attack of appendicitis leaving Dora and their six children to fend for themselves. Naturally, everyone concerned knew that it would be too difficult for Dora to step in and take over the business. They all agreed she should give up the company and quit the business. Fortunately, giving up wasn't exactly what Dora Schwabel had in mind. 